Hello everybody and welcome to a new video showing how to pattern scan for your offsets. So basically automatically finding them so you won't have to update whenever CSGO updates. Um, so let's get into it. So with Adam, I'm going to be making a new file. I'm going to save this, call this pattern scan uh, .py. And I'm going to import pymem. And I'm going to import um, pymem.process. And we're going to be using a new module today called RE. Um, so next thing we're going to do is we're going to be making a new function, and we're going to call this get sig. Now um, get sig will basically allow us to create a variable but put in some parameters. So if you don't understand what I'm saying, um, so basically the format of our um, variables, I'll throw it up on the screen. But basically we have our offset variable name, which can be whatever you want, and then it's get sig, and then it focuses on our um, our DLL, and then it does our pattern, so this pattern will basically um, show us what where we need to find that offset, um, the address, and then after that we have an extra, and then an offset. Um, so basically this will allow us to set the variable to that. So anyway, so we need to put inside these parentheses mod name, and then pattern then extra equals zero, offset equals zero, and then relative equals true. And then we're going to go down to pm equals pymem dot pymem csgo.exe, and then we're going to do module, and this is going to be equal to pymem dot process dot module from underscore name. And then pm dot process handle, and then module, or sorry, um, mod name. And after that, we're going to do bytes, and bytes is going to be equal to pm dot read underscore bytes. All right, and then module to LP base of DLL. And then module dot size of image name. Sorry, not name. I just size of image. We're gonna go on to do match, and then match is gonna be equal to re dot search, and then um, parentheses pattern bytes, and then dot start. And then we can do non underscore relative, and this is gonna be equal to pm dot read underscore integer. Uh, module LP base of DLL plus match plus extra sorry plus offset and then outside the parentheses plus extra and now we're going to do the same thing um, except we're going to make it yes relative and we're going to add something on so just duplicate that and then change it to yes underscore relative and then after the extra bit you do minus module LP base of DLL uh, once we have that, we're going to do return, and, and then uh, quotation marks, 0x, um, brackets, uh, colon, and then x here. And then we're going to do uh, dot formats, parentheses, yes, underscore relative, and then if relative, else, and then we're just going to copy this bit over again, and then dot format. And then uh, non relative inferences here. Alright, so now we have our get sig function done. This uh, will allow us to do our patterns and input them and everything. So the first thing we're going to do um, is we're going to make our get dw entity list uh, uh, variable. So um, to actually find our patterns, we need to have them. So um, if you go to my office, I don't bring the link in the description and you download that. Um, you'll see we have two files in here. We have the dumper, which will dump all the offsets for you, and then we have the config.json. So this is what we're going to be looking into right now. Um, so if we open up the config file, um, we'll have we have these patterns right here. So you can see we have patterns. We have the name, we have the extra, the relative, the module, and the offsets. So this is everything that we need right here. So you'll notice we have our mod name. So the mod name is client.dll, or whatever DLL it is. Um, we have our pattern. So this is the pattern. 
we have our extra, so this is our extra, 0. We have our offset, our offset is 1. And we have the relative, which is true. So this is just for DW client state. So since we're doing uh, DW uh, entity list, we have to look for DW entity list. And there we go, we have all the info we need. So uh, the extra, uh, we have the relative, all that. So anyway, so the first thing we're going to do is we can set that to be equal to get underscore sig and then parentheses and this is where we can put everything. So um, our DLL here is our client.dll and the reason that we didn't just set it all default to the client.dll is because some offsets use the engine DLL. Like um, our, in our shams video, we use the engine DLL. Um, so yeah, anyway, so after that we're going to do comma and then rb and then um, some multiplication marks, and then we can get our pattern here. So if we just copy over the pattern, just like this, put it inside of here, um, we have to reformat it a little bit. So before every um, uh, byte or whatever, uh, we have these, uh, it'll be two numbers or letters, um, we have to put an X and a slash. So a slash, then an X slash on the next, and then make sure we delete all the spaces um, between these different bytes too. Um, so instead of it being you know a space, it would just be a slash x. So just replace all those, and there we go. So the next thing we're going to do is we have to replace all these quotation marks, um, sorry not quotation marks, uh, what do you call it? question marks uh, with periods. So if there's four uh, four question marks, replace it with four periods. So one, two, three, four. Uh, there's another four here, and one, two, three, four. So once we have this, um, we go do a comma here, and then we put in our extra, and then our offset. So we have to go back to the config file, and then we look for our extra, which is zero, and then we have to look for our offset, which is one. All right, and once we have that we basically have our offset done. Um, so once we have this, um, to actually use it in our code, um, so like let's say you want to do a, a glow a glow cheat, uh, you would have to convert this to an integer. So the way we do this is, we, or I'm just going to call this uh, DW entry list. And this is why I didn't get DW entry list for this, because this is kind of us getting, uh, this is us getting the sig, and then this is us converting the, the get to be an integer. So what we do is we just do int, and then you put whatever the get uh, variable is called. So do the get dw entry list. And then you do a comma and then zero. So basically, this is the integer value of the offset. And this is the, uh, well, it's a string because um, this is how we uh, use this. So it's the string value. But um, it's like what we normally do like in hex. In hex. Uh, so I'm just going to print it out. So I'm going to do print. And then I'm going to do uh, dw entry list offset. And then I'm going to do a comma here, and then I'm going to do um, get dw entry list, and then after that I'm going to do an integer value, and then I'm just going to do another comma and then dw entry list. Um, so you can format it however you want to do. This is just how I'm going to format it so that we can actually get our uh, hexadecimal value here, and then our integer value here, uh, just so you know what we're converting and everything. Um, so before we actually start this, I'm going to do the same thing for GW local player. So how we do this is the same same way. So we do get GW local player, um, and then we're going to do the get sig function. Now before you guys follow along, try to pause this and do it yourself. So um, by using the DLL and then the pattern and then the extra and the offset and then you convert this. Um, hopefully you guys can do it. Uh, if not, that's okay. But just I want you to pause the video right now and try to do it yourself. Um, and then come back. And if it doesn't work, then come back and see what you did wrong. Um, but anyway, so uh, if you are done with that, uh, we're going to do the get sig function here. I'm going to do client.dll, right, comma, rb, and then we're going to get our pattern. So we'll go in here, look for dw local player, copy and paste over our pattern here. All right. Um, inside of here, slash x, slash x. All right, so once we have all these uh, slash x is done, uh, we can go on and replace our um, question marks. 
right, and once so I have that done, we're going to go on to our extra on our offset. So for DW local player, our extra is four. All right, so four, and then sorry, four, and then our offset is three. All right, three. Once so we have this, I'm going to convert it to an integer. So DW local player. And then equals integer to get the other local player, and then zero. So once we have this, I'm just going to do the print function here. So I'm just going to copy this over, and I'm just going to bring in this to be DW local player, and then get DW local player, and then DW uh, local player here. All right. So once we have this done, um, we can run it. So if we go over to um, Let's go. Um, we're going to go to our command prompt. We can do cd desktop and then I believe I called it pattern scan.py. What did I call it? Yeah, pattern scan.py. Alright, if I do that, okay, model info. Okay. Oh, whoops. Okay, so I accidentally misspelled size of image. Um, it should be a lowercase e, not a capital E. Um, right. So if we go back to CSGO, we're going to do uh, Python pattern scan py. Alright, and there we go. So as you can see, we got our two offsets here. So it says the DW um, entity list offset, it shows our offset, and then it says the integer value, which is this. It's the same thing for DW local player. Offset and the integer value. All right, sweet. So now that we have this done, um, I'm actually going to add this to uh, our glow sheet. Um, so that means we have to add on um, we call it our DW object manager, um, our glow object manager. Sorry. So uh, I'm just going to add in the uh, glow code real quick, um, and I'll be back. All right. So I have my glow in here. Um, so I just have the main function, um, like we would do um, otherwise, and then the last thing I have to do is actually get our uh, Glow Object Manager. And you notice that I said that I am still using the normal offset for uh, M underscore I Glow Index and uh, I Team and that's because they are actually set to a prop. So I'll show you what I mean here. So let's look for I uh, M underscore I Glow. So you can see there's no pattern, it's just um, a prop. So um, then it shows the offset of that. Um, I'll get to that later maybe. Um, for right now, um, I'm not gonna do it. I'll make another video uh, explaining it maybe. But anyway, um, so we're doing, uh, what do you call it? Get Glow Object Manager. So get Glow Object Manager. So get DW Glow Object Manager equals get underscore sig then client don't do actually no I believe this is engine DL when I look um so w glow alright so this is the client DL and then yeah so this is client uh, DL and then RB alright then I'm gonna take our pattern this is a very simple pattern actually so I get a dot alright X Slash x slash x slash x slash x. All right, sweet. Now we can go into our extras and our offset. So our extra is four. Our offset is zero. I think is that what it said? No, it's one. All right. And once we have that, we can just do our DW. Whoops. Okay. So um, once we have our our get DW object manager done. DW Glow Object Manager, and then I'm going to set this equal to int get DW Object Manager, Glow Object Manager, and then zero. So once we have this, I'm just going to do the same thing with the print, just so we can have some consistency here. Um, so Glow Object Manager offset, and then get uh, DW Glow Object Manager. Okay, so so, we, so once we have this, um, we can actually. Started. So I'm going to go into a CSGO game. 
I'm going to change some of the gain here. I'm going to go to my command prompt. Um, and I'm going to do python pattern scan dot py. Oops, spelled it right, wrong. Um, python pattern scan dot py. Keyboard's not fine. Whoops, okay. Um, so we have the, we still have the kill key here, so I'm just going to import keyboard. Um, Alright, so since we have that, do python pattern scan py. And there we go. You can see that we have our Golo here. And it is actually using um, uh, our pattern scan. So you can see we have our offsets, pw entry list, local player object manager, and it even shows the integer value. So if you guys enjoy this video, um, you can apply this to any um, any tutorial that I've done. Um, so all you need is the config.json and then the patterns and everything. Um, so this should work for anything. If you guys enjoyed this video, I know it was a long one, um, but hopefully it was worth it.